What is going on guys, it's CG here. So I've recently been checking out the Steam Workshop and I just got a credit, Killer's Work, on the creation of this truly brilliant map. This map is designed to theme a fantasy world of arc, far different from any earth looking island. It is covered in odd looking terrain, making it aesthetically pleasing and very unique. This map is still in its early stages but was posted in order for the creator to get feedback from the community and further develop the islands. The creator does mention that he wants to have 9 landscapes in total, being around the size of the original map which is 46 kilometers squared. That is 9 times larger than the original island itself. Alright guys, so taking a look at the map, this place truly is amazing. One of my favourite locations on the map so far is this chain reaction of waterfalls up here on the, the main finished island. <laughs> I just think it's so cool. I love how the stream is just filled with fish and there's just plants and little stones everywhere. It really does add a really nice effect and it just looks so so good. The island is very empty, the creator hasn't put any dinos in, while well, saying that he has put in compies and the little monkeys as well as the bugs, only the small dinos as well as the aquatic creatures. There are no on land carnivores or herbivores that roam around yet, it's still pretty plain, but that is obviously going to come in the future as it's still a work in progress. My second most favourite feature probably is this little bay bit here. It's like really really peaceful, there's a lot of dolphins around and a lot of fish. You can go here without worrying about being killed by any of the sea creatures that lurk out upon those trees. If you ever thought mining oil before was hard, well now it's just got a whole lot harder. Take a look at how many megalodons there are guys, it is absolutely crazy. And not only megalodons, there's plesios and mosasaurs here, it's ridiculous. There's a lot of oil around but as you go further along there's plesio here, more megalodons, megalodons, plesio and then there's mosasaurs, there's two there and two there as well as a plesio, it is quite ridiculous how many of them there are. 
for such shallow waters I think here there's a bit too many mobs a bit overkills too many creatures here if you can get from the right side of this island to the left then you obviously deserve it this place is an absolute death trap my third favorite location is probably this swamp here I like how it's all enclosed in the center of this island it's very cool you have like the bay here the really rocky bay and if you're made of stone then if you just come here all your problems will be solved pearls do spawn in the water which is quite good and there's some chulo bites and stuff merging across the rocks i really do like this swamp though i think it's pretty cool there's frogs crocodiles and snakes here i think they're the only creatures so far that are bigger than the combis and the monkeys and there's some pterodon nuts just casually stuck in the ground my fourth and last favorite place of the map this is the last piece of the map that actually has work done on it the rest is all plain is this little it's like a volcano type thing but you can actually live inside of it you got waterfalls you can eventually there'll probably be plants and trees in here you can build a little huts or a little village up here it's going to be pretty cool the cave for some reason as it is in early stages is a bit buggy you can't go through this side although that is that wall there isn't actually there it's just like a picture of it really because if you go over the other side around the back you can get in through where it comes out this is where it's supposed to be but he obviously hasn't put it in yet and there's obviously a few more glitches there but if you go in here you can see all the water and this is where the cave will lead through through here and out All this place over here obviously has got a lot of work to be done to it. I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of grass on here, some mountainy type areas, more metal spots. I don't really want this to be all desert because that would be kind of a shame. It's the desert biomes with a lot of stones and stuff, kind of useless. But it is down to the creator. I don't know what he has planned. All I know is that this island is going to get a lot bigger and he very much likes the aquatic creatures. Oh, this is mad. This is going to be the perfect place to build a massive base. Especially those of you who build the bases of the behemoth gates all the way around, which a lot of people do. You could be able to like circle off all this land and just fill it with everything. It's going to be brilliant. Just cut down these two trees here and you have a massive landscape with no obstruction at all. I have also noticed that no metal or obsidian spawns upon the uh, mountains that are currently on this map. It instead spawns around the side of the beach where all these dead trees are, which is kind of weird actually. I didn't notice them either. Well, there's a lot of dead palm trees there. Obviously, like some huge tidal waves came in, knocked them all over, just left them all there to rot away. Obsidian and metal spawns here along with normal sized rocks so you can get stone, metal, obsidian all here, this is pretty good. Uh, there's no crystal here unfortunately but that will probably end up coming here in the future. This map is still under development, this is like the first bit of it he has done. And it is pretty big, if I just zoom out you can see how large it is. It's mainly going to be water based and it's obviously going to be 9 times bigger than the original Ark Island. That's the default map that everyone plays in the official servers. I just can't wait to see the rest of this map being developed. It's going to be really cool. I really do like all these rocks here. They act as some sort of like sea barrier. Perfect trap for getting your fish stuck. Let's get a Dodea crust in here and just smash up all these stones. Oh, like this guy here. That would be pretty cool unlimited stones from here and you can get some oil as well and yet again there's more aquatic creatures everywhere anyway guys i just want to thank you for watching i have to end the video here i wanted to just put out this quick short sweet video for you guys and credit again to killer's work for creating this map it truly is awesome and i can't wait to see what he has in store for the future it's going to be brilliant for those of you who have already subscribed to the channel, there is a link in the description to the Facebook page. If you go over there, I will leave info about what I'm doing over the weekend as I won't be putting out any videos. I am going to be away with family, but I will keep you up to date when I have videos coming out and all sorts of stuff like that. Anyway guys, I just want to thank you for watching. If you want this map, there will be a link to the page down in the description below. 
And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Ark Survival Evolved content. And I'll see you all in the next video.